Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're checking out Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins. I know there's a lot of different versions of this movie, a lot are a lot older. So if we should check out any of those, just let us know in the comment section and we'll probably do that. But babe, what do you know about Batman? I know that it won our Patreon trilogy poll, and I know that it's a guy where, that wears a black mask. I think Batman is in the DC universe because I know he's not in Marvel. Yeah, he's in DC. So guys, to be 100% transparent, I've never seen this movie, but I have seen The Dark Knight. I just don't really remember it. Like, I don't know the storyline or anything, but I have seen that movie, just so you guys know. Mrs. October, on the other hand, neither. Yeah, none. I'm guessing Batman's like the captain. That's what I think. Of DC? Yeah. Kind of like how, well, I don't know who the captain of Marvel is. I was going to say Iron Man, but kind of Spider-Man too. I don't know. But not really. It's kind of Captain America, Iron Man, all of them, man. Honestly. That's so cool. So that's young Bruce. Dang. Bruce? <gasps> Dang, that's his, that's his house. Nothing's nice for her house. Did you have a dream? Nightmare. Voice on this place. <laughs> I know that guy had beef with him, didn't he? I know, he was ready for him to ask that <clears throat> question. Dang, so he's in a prison or something. Or like a camp. I'm going to fight you. Again? Until I kill you. Can they kill me before breakfast? You are in hell, Lichie man. Oh my gosh. And I am the devil. <laughs> Your practice. Uh -oh. Hey. Bro, he look like John Jones with that ah. uppercut over there. Like. I thought you were going to say John Wick with the haircut. Mud wrestling. Cemetery. Why? For protection. I don't need protection. Protection for them. Right. Yeah, that's Batman, all right. Single-handedly whooping them. Are you so desperate to fight criminals that you lock yourself in to take them? That's that guy that can't hang on to his daughter. William. Who are you? My name is Merely Ducard, but I speak for Raz Al Ghul, a man who can offer you a path. Someone like you is only here by choice. You have become truly lost. On what path can Raz Al Ghul offer? The path of a man who shares his hatred of evil and wishes to serve true justice. Sounds good, the right? Of the League of Shadows. <laughs> League of Shadows. If you make yourself more than just a man. Then you become something else entirely. Tomorrow you will be released. There is a rare blue flower that grows on the eastern slopes. If you can carry it to the top of the mountain, you may find what you were looking for in the first place. That's a mysterious dude right, right. there. Right. He's going to look for a blue flower. <laughs> He's got to carry it up the mountain. And he got released in a moving vehicle. You saw that? Disrespectful. That's the mountain. <laughs> Oh, I see the blue flower. Yeah, I thought there was just going to be one of them things. That's a damn Arctic flower or something, ain't it? Mm-hmm. You're turning back. So things you go back. Hmm. Like, do you take the advice? You don't know. So he's really got to climb this mountain with no water? I know it's a thing to think, but lick the snow, right? Some of these places like this, it's incredible how they get the building material up there. Because there's places like this that are wild, like for real. What are you seeking? The means to fight injustice. To turn fear against those who prey on the fearful. He delivered. I don't have an attack. To manipulate the fears in others, you must first master your own. Are you ready to begin? I can barely stand. Death does not wait for you to be ready. Death Dang. is not considerate. Here you face death. Oh, so this is about to be like the school of hard knocks in here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tiger. Tiger. Ah, Jiu-Jitsu. Ah. Ah. Skills. This is not a dance. Ah. Ah. The come up story oh, begins. But where's the jujitsu? He's in a suit, chill. What do you fear? 
Gross. Wow. It'll be okay. Will we be needing an ambulance whilst away? I'll set the bone and take him for an x-ray later. Oh, man. Can we, Master Bruce? And why do we fall, Bruce? So we can learn to pick ourselves up. Nice. Y'all low-key loaded, though. Let's just put that out there. I know his house felt like a hospital, didn't it? Mm -hmm. You know why they attacked you, don't you? They were afraid of you. Afraid of you? All creatures feel fear. You think your mother will like him? Yeah. Did you build this train, Dad? Aww. People less fortunate than us have been enduring very hard times. So we build a new, cheap public transportation system. Is that where you work? No, I work at the hospital. I lead the running of our company to much better men. He's like a philanthropist or something. Mm -hmm. Dang, they're that rich and they're just taking that train, though. Wow. <laughs> oh, he's scared of the bats. Dang. No, no, it, it was me. My dad would have slapped me outside my head. But those bats were talented on those ropes, so. <laughs> yeah, they were good, weren't they? Wallace. Oh, snap. Fast. That's fine. Just take it easy. It's fine. Take it and go. I said jewelry. Hey. <gasps> no. Man, he killed them both. And then just left him. Oh my goodness. Man, that was tough. So Bruce's parents were actually pretty decent people and they got shot in cold blood like that. Yeah, just from being outside because he wanted to leave. That's crazy. Wrong place at the wrong time. He's going to feel like it's his fault. Right. Yeah. There you go. That's okay. Good news. We got him, son. That sucks, man. That poor kid. I knew that his parents died, but I didn't know it was going to happen like that. We'll be watching the Empire. Mm. When you grow up, it'll be waiting for you. You probably didn't know that at all, did you? I didn't even know it would tell us that. I thought he would just, like, get injected with some bat juice and <laughs> let's go. It's a lot sadder than that. I thought I might prepare a little supper. Very well. Alfred. It was my fault, Alfred. Oh, I no, made the beat no, of no, it. No, no, no. If my handgun skipped. It was nothing that you did. It was him. And him alone. Oh. I miss him so much. So do I, Master Bruce. He's in the next movie. Sorry if that's spoiling something, but... No, I like that. It gives me a break. Now I don't have to worry about him dying. I can worry about the other people. You know how to fight six men. We can teach you how to engage 600. Like Ron and Jamie? We can teach you to become... Three and hundred. <laughs> I'm here! Whoa. <laughs> Ninja understands that invisibility is a matter of patience and agility. So he's just going to know it all? Always mind your surroundings. Ninjutsu employs explosive powders as weapons or distractions. Assassin's Creed. So he's becoming like a... a wow. Not a vigilante. Different word. Criminals thrive on the indulgence of society's understanding. So he's basically learning all these arts of combat. Yeah, like every the single one. death was not your fault. It was your father's. Low blow. Oh my gosh. You have sacrificed your footing for a killing stroke. <laughs> I knew something was going to come about the glacier fighting. Right. Rub your chest. Your arms will take care of themselves. You're stronger than your father. Once I had a wife, she was taken from me. <laughs> Imagine that, taken. Your anger gives you great power. But if you let it, it will destroy you, as it almost did me. Why could you not avenge your parents? Because he was a kid. I prepared the master bedroom. No. Your father is dead. Now, this Wayne. place is a mausoleum. If I have my way, I'll pull the damn thing down brick by brick. Dang, that's crazy. This house, Master Wayne, has sheltered six generations of your family. Why do you give a damn, Alfred? It's not your family. Mm -hmm. I give a damn because a good man once made me responsible for what was most precious to him in our world. You haven't given up on me yet. Never. 
Best mm. butler ever, right? Yeah, he really is. There's a lot I want to say, but I want to let the story play out for you. But because I do know a little bit more about Batman, I'm starting to see why he is the way he is. That's that just in case, you know? That <laughs> just in case in the case. <laughs> <laughs> How's your mom? She misses this place. So do I. Oh, that's the girl when she grew up. That's sweet. Now there's only Alfred. You're just back for the hearing. Someone at this proceeding should stand for my parents. Why is your boss letting him go? Uh-oh. He learned things, and he will testify in exchange for early parole. Oh, he's getting out. And she has to somewhat, like, be on his side. His crime was appalling, yes, but it was motivated not by greed, but by desperation. We strongly endorse his petition for early release. Not a day goes by that I don't wish I could take back what I did. I gather there is a member of the Wayne family here today. Has he got anything to say? Uh oh. oh. Yeah, because Babe Batman is sort of a vigilante. We Harvey Oswald? Hey, Joe. Is hot. Dang. I don't even think he did it. Who beat him to the punch? We don't need to see this. I do. Falcone paid him off to get chill out in the open. Maybe I should be thanking them. Well, you're not talking about justice. You're talking about revenge. Well, sometimes they're the same. No, they're never the same, Bruce. Oh, your system is broken. She did not like that. No, she turned really hard left on that one. Look beyond your own pain, Bruce. This city is rotting. Falcone floods our streets with crime and drugs. He's destroying everything that they stood for. Oh, yeah. You want to thank him for that? Here you go. They were kind of like making moves in that department. Mm -hmm. But as long as he keeps the bad people rich and the good people scared, no one will touch him. They were trying to make that seem like a dystopia, but lots of places in America look a lot worse than that. All these years, I wanted to kill him. Now I can't. Oh. <laughs> I think we all need a Rachel in our lives. What, someone trying to keep you out of prison? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yep. He has such a inheritance and such a such a large amount of fortune that you'd imagine that this is such a waste of energy to do this. You could do so much. And your parents would want you to do something with it because like they gave you it. He threw the gun though. No gun. I'm insulted. I came here to show you that not everyone in Gotham's afraid of you. Only those who know me, kid. Look around you. You'll see two councilmen, a couple off-duty cops, and a judge. There he is. Now that's power you can't buy. I'm not afraid of you. You haven't thought about your lady friend down in the DA's office. You haven't thought about your old butler. Bang! Oh. You've never tasted desperate. This is a world you never understand. And you always fear. But you don't understand. Dang. He ain't scared of that. He said, I'm only scared of bats, bro. In the joint, Chill told me, uh, told me about the night he killed your parents. He said your father oh, that's begged for Like a dog. But he actually didn't. No, I know. Should have did better. <laughs> Good advice, old man. For what? A jacket? Let me have it. It's a nice coat. Maybe he'll never forget that. <laughs> yeah, that's the nicest coat he's ever going to touch. That's for sure. When you lived among the criminals, did you start to pity them? The first time I stole so that I wouldn't starve. Yes. You've traveled the world to understand the criminal mind and conquer your fears. Impressive. You must journey inwards. Breathe. Whoa. I want to try some. Breathe. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you think it's a candle or something? <laughs> I bet it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like a hallucinogenic drug. <laughs> yeah. Okay, never mind. Oh no, it puts you in a ninja simulation? I can't. So did he just give him a drug that's supposed to make him scared? It seems like it. Did that cure it? So he's called Batman because he's scared of bats? 
out of your senses. Well, yeah, I guess some of that, but I thought I always thought it was because he mastered his senses. Kind of like a bat. Like a bat so in tune that he uses a sonar. Oh. But we don't saw sonar, man. That was an X-Men. You cannot leave any sign. Failed. Nice. Impressive. We have purged your fear. You are ready to become a member of the League of Shadows. But first, you must demonstrate your commitment to justice. What's he charged with? I'm no executioner. Your compassion is a weakness your enemies will not share. It separates us from them. You want to fight criminals? This man is a murderer. You cannot lead these men. And where would I be leading these men? Gotham. Gotham's time has come. It's about to fall. The city has become a breeding ground for suffering and injustice. Oh no. It is beyond saving and must be allowed to die. Gotham must be destroyed. They're kind of creepy. They're like civilization destroyers. They do it from the inside. I will go back to Gotham and I will fight men like this, but I will not become an executioner. Oh, he went rogue. Whoa. Yeah, he don't agree with all that killing. Let's go. So he took the 22 day course and then decided not to pay for it at the end. Huh? <laughs> Basically. But hey, if it's against your morals, you do what you gotta do. They should have never let him in. Just like that. Man got hit with the two by fours. Okay, so this is the most cinematic origin story I've seen this far. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> no! Are you really about to catch him? Ow. <laughs> because he just passed the ultimate ninja core, so like, of course they can do that. My man really almost went face first off a mountain. Nice work. I will tell him you saved his life. Hopefully he's disappearing now. Yeah, there you go. He'll be gone too. Hey. Master Wayne, you've been gone a long time. People need dramatic examples to shake them out of apathy, and I can't do that as Bruce Wayne. I'm flesh and blood. I can be ignored. I can be destroyed, but as a symbol, as a symbol, I can be incorruptible. I assumed as you're taking on the underworld, this symbol is a persona to protect those you care about from reprisals. You're thinking about Rachel? Actually, sir, I was thinking of myself. Hence the half mask, hiding his identity. You've been gone seven years. You have me declared dead. Those shares are worth quite a bit of money. Well, that's a good thing I left everything to you then. Quite so, sir. <laughs> and you can borrow the rolls if you like. Just bring it back with a full tank. <laughs> I really like the butler a lot, Alfred. Whoa, is that Gotham City? It just kind of looks like New York. Dr. Crane, you really think a man who butchers people for the mob doesn't belong in jail? Ain't that the Peaky Blinder guy? I think so. This is the third of Carmine Falcone's thugs you've had declared insane and moved into your asylum. So everyone's just running around so scared of this organized crime mob that's taken over Gotham City. Mm-hmm. Flesh it back again, sir. Is he still scared of it? No, nah, he's coexisting with it now, you see? It's his roommate. He's still a little concerned, though. Well, yeah, maybe because like, where is it going to use the bathroom? What? Oh my gosh. So his fear led led him there. I think I'd have been hanging out there if I was a kid. <gasps> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> but look at him. He's not even flinching. He's just embracing them. I hope so. He's like 35. I don't know, that is still kind of scary. Wild bats in a cave. How do they not scratch up your head? Well, hell yeah, brother. Someone is sniffing around. Hey, I scratch your back, you scratch mine, Doc. I'm bringing in the shipments. But you know who I'm working for. He's coming to Gotham. Yes, he is. Who's bothering you? There's a girl at the DA's office. Uh-oh. Is Rachel? Mm -hmm. They're saying she might have to go swim with the fishes. She's like Veronica on Prison Break. I think after 20 years, we can allow ourselves to stop thinking about what Thomas Wayne would have done. I'm here to see you, Mr. Earl. Name? 
uh, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Jessica, where are you? I'm answering the phone. What in the world? <laughs> Jessica was busy. <laughs> she was learning how to put. You're supposed to be dead. Sorry to disappoint. We're going public. I understand. And I'll be handsomely rewarded for my shares. I am looking for a job. Any ideas where you would start? Applied sciences. You're the only one left of the Wayne family. This is where you belong. That was too nice, right? Right. <gasps> Red. All prototypes. Not in production. What did they tell you this place was? <laughs> they didn't tell me anything. Dead end. Place to keep me from causing the board any more trouble. You were on the board? When your father ran things. Yeah. You knew my father? Oh, yeah. Helped him build his train. Kevlar utility harness. Gas powered magnetic grapple gun. It's the OG Batman weapons. Really? Yeah. What? Kevlar by weave. Reinforced joints. Why didn't they put it into production? Being counters didn't think a soldier's life was worth 300 grand. Wow. Oh. I want to borrow it for uh, spelunking. <laughs> for real, though. <laughs> Way I see it, all this stuff is yours anyway. So he helps the family like build and patent things, mm -hmm. and they pay him a handsome price for it. I see. But they didn't like his idea of like suits and stuff. Well, they said soldiers. the military didn't think it was worth the production costs. Yeah. Could you imagine a bunch of soldiers, soldiers running around with Batman suits? So y'all just building down there or whatever. I figured out why it's called Batman now. Grandfather was involved in the Underground Railroad. These cabins came in handy. He said six generations. Because he's going to build his bunker in a bat cave. That's cool. That is cool. Come on, Peter! I can see everything all right from down here, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's how I would feel about that. Spray job, let's go. He's <laughs> like spring break. <laughs> Panama. This is so cool, this origin story. We place an order to a Chinese company for these. They'll have to be uh, large orders uh, to avoid suspicion. How large? Say uh, 10,000. That's small <laughs> for him. We'll have spares. So they're building this together. Oh. Mm -hmm. I got a father son project. Don't suppose you want a taste. There's nothing wise in what you do, Flash. I'm no rat. In a town that's been, who's that a rat to anyway? He really felt that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bro, he looks busted like the original Spider-Man. It was like he's about to skydive. <laughs> looks like he's about to rob a 7-Eleven. Yeah, in a skydiving position. <laughs> Don't turn around. Carmine Falcone brings in shipments of drugs every week. Nobody takes him down. Why? He's paid up with the right people. What will it take to bring him down? Leverage on Judge Faden and the DA brave enough to prosecute. Who are you? Watch for my sign. <laughs> that was a stapler? It was something that didn't look very dangerous. There you go. So he's basically ladder man right now. He ain't Batman yet. You better land that, that jump right or he ain't gonna wanna work with you. The hell was that? Just some nut. <laughs> Do you have any lightweight fabrics? It's called memory cloth. Notice anything? But put a current through it. If you're uncomfortable. Mr. Wayne, if you don't wanna tell me exactly what you're doing when I'm asked, I don't have to lie. But don't think of me as an idiot. Fair enough. So he's going to know he's Batman all along. What's that? Well, it seems like he's going to design the uniform. On the tumbler? Oh, you wouldn't be interested in that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know that car. Yeah, that looks like one of your Rocket League cars. Yeah, I have it. But don't you always are actually like, this one's corrupt. Yeah, one of the cars is glitched out. Just like Rocket League. Baby works just fine. That's cool. That's so much cooler than a cyber truck. Come in black. Does it come in black? I right. We're on the street. Is you got a beef with somebody in the DA's office? So that ain't good. I know. You think that's a little bit too much heat to bring down? Maybe. People get mugged coming home from work every day of the week. Oh. So 
problem with the graphite, sir. In the uh, meantime, sir, may I suggest you try to avoid landing on your head? <laughs> they're literally building this from scratch. That's so cool. Yeah, they're just making little modifications mm -hmm. as they need. A little trial and error. Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Handcrafted boy, that is. Why bats, Master Wayne? Bats frightened me. This time my enemies shared my dread. Love that. Bears, they go straight to the dealers. Yeah. The rabbits go to the man in the narrows. What's the difference? Ignorance is bliss, my friend. Stop asking questions. What one's cut and one's not? It's bliss, baby. Didn't you just hear what he said? Oh, you yeah. You don't want to know. Understandable. Once you know, you're going to get compromised. It's nice. <laughs> Dang, good throw. I would pocket that immediately because it's like just cool. What? Dang, so he's trying to change the whole culture of Gotham City. He's trying to make the criminals scared. Mm -hmm. I don't love that. He's like doing what his parents are doing, but in a different way. There's a problem out here. You better bail. Christian bail. <laughs> well, you better reload. Where are you? Here. Uh -oh. <laughs> See, I told you, you whispers. Man, smash him out the. Oh, let's go. Out the sunroof. Nice go. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy. Oh, this is about to be like that Mary Jane scene with Spider Man. What were they capture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the rain. And then he kisses her upside down. No. Yeah, Spider Man or Batman's about to step in. Oh. <laughs> She said, That's right. You better run. <laughs> ah! Oh. <laughs> Falcone sent them to kill you. Photo evidence. What's this? Who are you? Someone like you. Falcone's men. Does it matter? Crazy. Oh, wow. Let's go. What's he going to look like in the sky? He was like a blob, don't he? Yeah, a I think he's blob. trying to look like the Batman. Cut him down. <laughs> That's so cool. Please don't fly. Look how purple they made this guy look. I'm so scared for him. Bats Good job. Nocturnal. Bats are nocturnal. <laughs> Your theatrics made an impression. He does have to sleep in a lot then, don't he? Yeah. <laughs> Strange injuries and non-existent social life. These things beg the question as to what exactly does Bruce Wayne do with his time and his money? What's the coat? The Coast Guard picked up one of our cargo ships last night. Heavily damaged, all crew missing, probably dead. The ship was carrying a, a prototype weapon. It's a, a microwave emitter. It's designed for uh, desert warfare. It, it looks like somebody um, turned it on. Turned it on? I think you walked by that same it cargo ship earlier. Microwaves to uh, vaporize the enemy's water supply. Vaporize. The damage to the ship was catastrophic. The weapon itself is um, missing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Nice car. You should see my other one. <laughs> He's done something the police have never done. The pool is for decoration, and your friends do not have swimwear. <laughs> well, there, European. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to leave. It is not a question of money. You see, I'm buying this hotel, setting some new rules about the pool area. <laughs> oh, he fell in. <laughs> Bruce? He feels like a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, just swimming. It's good to see you. Can't change the world on your own. What choice do I have when you're too busy swimming? <laughs> Rachel, all of all this, it's not me. I am more. What an awkward thing to have to explain. <laughs> I know. But it's not who you are underneath. It's what you do that defines you. Okay, then. He's like, damn, I really need to go buy a coffee shop right now. I know. He's like, and you're walking into the hotel I just bought, ma'am. Yeah, Dr. Crane, I can't take it anymore. It's all too much. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that food's driving him crazy. I know. 
about your experiments with the inmates of your nut house. So whatever he's planning, it's big. And I want That's why there's two separate kinds. Absolutely. I'm probably not very frightening to a guy like you. They scream and they cry. That came out of left field. I did not expect him to do that. I'll talk to the judge and see if I can get him moved. So that's how he's getting all these characters into. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So he's basically stirring the pot up with the drugs. Do you notice they keep making like the outlines of the sky like purple? We've had like purple like sunsets, purple lightning storms. Mm -hmm. Love it. Storms coming. <laughs> oh, I thought he was just going to go in. <laughs> Your partner was at the docks with Falcone. They were splitting the shipment in two. Only half went to the dealers. Yeah, corrupt as hell. Flass knows. He won't talk. He'll talk to me. I think you're trying to help. <laughs> well, great. I don't. I don't ever know what to think about that. The vigilante trying to do us right in a corrupt city, like taking things in your own hands. Well, it seems like it's like an apocalyptic prophecy for their their city. Yeah. Now you got some wet falafel. I think he's about to get his ass whooped. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Strung up. Where were the other drugs going? Uh, I don't know. I swear to God. Swear to me! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I never knew. There was something. Something else in the drugs. <laughs> oh. I bet he's gone. He got what he needed. The ship left Singapore with 246 containers, but arrived with 247. We don't want to know what's in Mr. Falcone's crate. Things are working a little differently now. Open it up. Okay. I would be scared to know, too. Right, but I like to change of pace, though. Mm -hmm. Time to start holding these people accountable. They might lock his butt in there. I knew it. Man, the corruption is just oozing out of this town. This town's crazy. Just a complete dystopia ran by basically an illegal mob. <gasps> Joffrey. Joffrey, yeah. <laughs> yes. It's you, isn't it? Everybody's been talking about you. That kid had no idea at that moment who he was about to be. Joffrey Baratheon. <laughs> First of his name. Get rid of all traces. No one with the last name Crane in a movie is ever a good guy. I know. They're always bad. And that just so happens to be the last name over here. <laughs> <laughs> Spelled different, though. <laughs> Not the urinating death. I'll wait till he was done so he didn't pee on me. Oh, having trouble. Uh oh. Take a seat. Have a drink. So he puts your biggest fear in your face, basically. Lighten up. Bro, what in the world? What? There better be a swimming pool down there. It was raining. <laughs> See? Stop, drop, and roll. Help him. <laughs> Dang, Batman's tougher than a tuna fish sandwich. He just got a little cooked and he's still moving. Help me. Help me. Take, take push. So that's why the people are acting out because they're seeing their fears and junk. Yeah, yeah. That's what that little thing is he's putting in your face. It's like a hallucinogenic drug that makes you scared. And his face is just scary. That mask, why did he pick that of all the masks? Terrifying. What is it? Like a scarecrow? Yeah, like a one that ate a lot of worms or something. What was that? Two days. I analyzed your blood, isolating the receptor compounds and the protein-based catalyst. I mean, I don't understand any of that. Not at all. I just wanted you to know how hard it was. <laughs> Bottom line, <laughs> synthesized an antidote. Could you make more? I'll bring what I have. The antidote should inoculate you for now. I like Lucius. I just wanted to leave this. Thank you. Rachel? Man, you over there for obvious reasons, Rachel. He's too old to be celebrating his birthday like that. Rachel Doss, who authorized that? Get Crane down there right now. It's Falcone. Dr. Crane moved him to Arkham Asylum on suicide watch. Aww. But Master Wayne, the guests will be arriving. Keep them happy until I arrive. Tell them that joke, you know. <laughs> I hope it's a long one. Whoa, he's got keys on this piano that opens up a trap door like that. That's insane. 
Oh, going to down his... to the lair. Do his Let's back go. Game, He's been working on that setup. Maybe that was his goal to have that before his 30th birthday. Mm -hmm. Got that black on black on black. It's a microwave emitter. It was designed to vaporize an enemy's water supply. I'm merging your department with archives and I'm firing you. Oh, man. Then why would he go find it? Ms. Dawes, I have nothing further to add to the report I filed with the judge. I have questions about your report. Patients suffering delusional episodes often focus their paranoia on an external tormentor. In this case, a scarecrow. Outside, he was a giant. The spy cam. I want my own psychiatric consultant to have full access to Falcone, including blood work. First thing tomorrow, then. Tonight. I've already paged Dr. Lehman at County General. Okay. <clears throat> As you wish. Something I think you should see. Uh uh. He's yeah, gonna pull out that him. mask. Yeah. And poor Rachel's not gonna know what to do with that. This is where we make the medicine. That looks illegal AF. Oh, they're dumping it into the water supply. That's when they're gonna vaporize and make it like airborne. Clear your head. It's that, it's that, it's that scary stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, bro. So he's trying to make Gotham like outrageously crazy. Yeah, it can, yeah. I don't exactly know the motive, but. You can control a feared population. I think it just makes them wacky and they just want to kill each other or do something. He's here. Who? The Batman. Dang, you would think you just took the drug. Call the police. At this point, they can't stop us. What about her? Oh, she hasn't got law. I give her a concentrated dose. Y'all about to get whooped up. Watch out for the powder, bro. Taste of your own medicine, doctor. Yeah, there you go. Take some. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, it's how cool. Oh, it's how cool is dead. Who are you working for? Dr. Green isn't here right now. Oh, man. You can't just do that. So he's been microdosing on that junk or something. <laughs> he's used to it. What are you waiting for? Back up. Let's go. The one good cop in the city. So that guy was just playing with him when he said he was working for that dead guy? Yeah, like trolling him? Yeah. What's happened to her? Crane poisoned her with a psychotropic hallucinogen. A panic-inducing toxin. Let me get it down to the medics. They can't help her, but I can. Crane's been smuggling his toxin hidden inside Falcone's drugs and then dumping it into the water supply. Was he working for Falcone? He meant to someone else. Someone worse. What is that? Back up. What the? Dang. Dang, did he summon the bats? <laughs> he can do up. that. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know he could do that. Oh, that was probably that thing on the bottom of his shoe. He like communicates with them in a way? Maybe he like attracts them with like the, the sound. Do like the technology. Because everything he has is technological based, right? Mm -hmm. That's insane. That's a good distraction, at least. What an idea. I think you could have gave me three lifetimes. I wouldn't have came up with that one. Dang, I wish I had a suit that could have let me do that. <laughs> the guy's like, what the hell? <laughs> I know, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even like move to the door immediately. I'll get my car. I brought mine. I gotta get me one of those. Yeah. <laughs> color? Uh, it's a black <laughs> tank. <laughs> that car would be tough though, wouldn't it? Mm hmm. You've been poisoned. She would be really freaking out in that front seat. I know, especially when she just woke up from a poisoning. She'd be looking out and seeing log trucks and all kinds <laughs> of stuff. Breathe slowly. Nice. And that helicopter is really chasing them any. Mm -hmm. The citizens are just so used to it. That's why everyone's just chilling. They're like, 
Here it is again. I'm surprised they're using that many resources. They're underground. Lock that ramp. Oh my gosh. Turn off your engine. Away from the car. Uh -oh. Trust me. Oh, he's about to aerial off the roof. Just a quick leap. What the hell? Where'd he go? <laughs> what? No way. If you saw that, you gotta let him go, you know? Just let him. What street is he taking? He's not on a street, he's flying on rooftops! <laughs> <laughs> That's a relentless person to have that type of machinery. <laughs> That's a strong roof, though. You gotta give it to them. He was just like, do you trust me? And then just goes up in the front like that. Like, she's just like, what the heck? Got him. Got him. Yeah, like he can't run y'all over. The minesweeper balls. Right, looking like Mario Kart. Oh, it mapped out his trajectory. Did you see that? Yeah, that you thing. Is, that thing is serious. Arrow on the ground. I lost him. We've lost visual. Stay with me. Oh man. <laughs> Dang, did he pull in? Oh, I thought that was his spot. I think it is his spot. Master Wayne. <laughs> this arrived from Fox. He even wrote it in a British accent. <laughs> he said master. Gotham's entire water supply is laced with it. Why haven't we felt the effects? Must be a compound that has to be absorbed in the lungs. I.e. the misting. They're gonna evaporate it and make it like oh, a mist. That's why he sprays people. Right. You were poisoned. Who's yes. Dr. Crane? I... Rust. Gordon has Crane. I'm gonna give you a sedative. You'll wake up back at home. What are they? The antidote. One for Gordon to inoculate himself, the other for mass production. It's a good thing they're ahead of it, though. Mm hmm. When you told me your grand plan for saving Gotham, the only thing that stopped me from calling the men in white coats was when you said that it wasn't about thrill seeking. It's not. What would you call that? <laughs> you television. You're getting lost inside this monster of yours. It's Rachel, Alfred. She was dying. It can't be personal, or you're just a vigilante. We need to send these people away now. Those are Bruce Wayne's guests out there, sir. You have a name to maintain. I don't care about my name. It's not just your name, sir. It's your father's name. And it's all that's left of him. Aww. And he's been waiting a long time, too. Yeah. Oh, he's basically like, keep the legacy. How'd the uh, stock offering go? Price is sort. The key thing is, our company's future is secure. Well, that was weird. A bunch of shady individuals are buying, huh? I know. <laughs> wow, they had to see that. <laughs> They're probably like, what in the heck? Little the worse for wear, I'm afraid. <laughs> How are you going to get your toxin into the air? Scarecrow. Oh, he needs that antidote. And it actually scares him. You can't stop it now. Like anytime you leave the guard alone with the bad guy, the bad guy kills the guard. And yeah, escapes. especially when you give him the weapon that he like or the little. They need you. Yeah. Somebody's planning to disperse the toxin using the water supply. Unless you have a microwave emitter powerful enough to vaporize all the water. Uh oh. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And they were asking about it. Girl just fired for asking too many questions about it. Dang. I need you to go back to Wayne Enterprises right now and start making more of that antidote. Mr. Raz Al Ghul. He's alive? I was about to say, I thought he... That ain't no, him. I watched him die. But is what yeah. I shall go immortal. Oh, his methods, supernatural. Oh, so that guy was just turned around for so no maybe reason. he wasn't trolling earlier. ...to conceal your true identity, Ross. So he's really it. Wow. I saved your life. I warned you about compassion. He really did, too. You let these people go. You are welcome to explain the situation to them. I want to thank you all for coming here tonight and drinking all of my booze. You're never short of a few freeloaders like yourselves. All you phonies, please leave me in peace. Stop smiling. It's not a joke. Please leave. <laughs> the apple has fallen very far from the tree, Mr. Wayne. Man, shut your mouth, old man. He's doing what's right. These dudes look serious, don't they? None of these people have long to live. Crane was working for you. 
His toxin is derived from the organic compound found in our blue flowers. He was able to weaponize it. That's jacked up, man. The plan was to hold the city to ransom. You are going to release Crane's poison on the entire city. The League of Shadows has been a check against human corruption for thousands of years. We sacked Rome, loaded trade ships with plague rats, burned London to the ground. There are good people here. You are defending a city so corrupt we have infiltrated every level of its infrastructure. Dang, so they're costing the like corruption and then using that as a reason to like justify their own existence? Yeah. Because there's corruption? It's All because twisted. they feel like they need to destroy it for some reason. Because it's reached the edge of moral you decay. You are my greatest student. I'll be standing where I belong, between you and the people of Gotham. I love that. When the forest grows too wild, a purging fire is inevitable and natural. You would say Gotham before? Of course. Over the ages, our weapons have grown more sophisticated. With Gotham, we tried a new one, economics. But we underestimated certain of Gotham's citizens. His family, yes. Yeah. You don't think that guy was sent to kill them, do you? Guns down by one of the very people they were trying to help. Or was that just... hunger and everyone becomes a criminal. Okay. We are back to finish the job. You never did learn to mind your surroundings. Just like Roz. That's what happened. My boy better at least have a couple burns. That's nuts, man. They said that the city would have just imploded and been over with. And Harmony would have reset itself and Balance would have set in. But then his, his stupid parents had to get killed. And then they martyred him. And the city continued to limp along. Insane, guys. Ruined the whole dang estate. Uh oh, she gonna do it? Dang, she Immediately. woke up clear headed. Mm -hmm. So that's burning a shush, right? <laughs> Dang, let's go, Albert. I hope you're not a member of the fire brigade. <laughs> <laughs> fire brigade. Fast away, fast away. What is the point of all those push ups if you can't even lift a bloody log? <laughs> the comic relief we need right now. Good thing that thing's underground, right? Yeah, but that's stressful because all the firefighters are going to be poking at his his little man cave he's got going on. Man, they don't know them three keys. What have I done, Alfred? The Wayne legacy is more than bricks and mortar, sir. Why do we fall, sir? So that we can learn to pick ourselves up. Oh, that's what his dad said. Our mutual friend sent me with this counteract screen toxin. Uh oh. He pulled up. Nah, that train's scary, bro. How high it sits up there? Is, yeah, it's, it is a little terrifying. <laughs> I can't find my mom. What the hell are you doing? He's rude. He doesn't talk. Panic. So it's going down. But you know, it's no wonder they have such a police state. Like how much of a population they have. Those two things sort of seem to go together. Oh my gosh. What is he gonna see? I don't know. Go down. So they just see the scariest stuff ever. And so there's this whole city of people who are just in fear of each other and they're about to start imploding on each other. Kind of like the purge in a way. <gasps> what? We need reinforcements. All the city's riot police are on the island with you. Oh, that ain't good. There's nobody left to send it. <laughs> he said, I got a fresh corner boost, baby. This is just the beginning. If they hit the whole city with toxin, there's nothing to stop Gotham tearing itself apart. The monorail follows the water mains to the central hub beneath Wayne Tower. So I'm gonna stop him from loading that train, but I may need your help. This guy's just horseback riding to it. There's nothing to fear. What? <laughs> That's scarier. You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> They want a shot. Uh uh. They're like Zoms, basically, right? He knew it. <laughs> this is Gordon. Prepare to lower the bridge. I can't believe this little Joffrey. I know. That's he's so in funny. such a sweet little yeah. role right here. At least tell me your name. You know me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Batman, baby. It's not who I am underneath. 
but what I do that defines me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, why are you talking like that, bro? They probably see some real crazy stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is too goofy. Dude. It's like the it. worst trip ever. <laughs> I didn't think this whole movie was gonna be like a psychedelic movie. It ends here. But you and the police, maybe. I can't beat two of your pawns. As you wish. He said, so here's four of them. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Quick donut. You could clickbait this movie with that. What? Like the visions they're getting of him. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no shot. What an urgent situation. Familia, don't you have anything new? How about this? Dang. <laughs> That's that Gotham City style. Is he gonna break is he gonna break the handbrake thing? Kinda like in Spider-Man. Remember when he was on that uh train and they broke the, the brake? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had his hands up. He was ready. He was really ready to go, wasn't he? he <laughs> 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 that guy walked up and said, nice ride. <laughs> and he was like scared after that. He's like, nope. Don't be afraid, Bruce. <laughs> nice shot. That is not good. Mind your surroundings. The grasshopper kills the master. If you finally learn to do what is necessary, I won't kill you, but I don't have to save you. Dang, he said you're gonna die as a result of your own choices, bro. I bet that's just another newspaper headline for Gotham City. Right, third page, middle of the <laughs> middle of the page. Good job, bro. You're low-key just as much a hero, bro. Straight up. What a Batman moment. Fuck. <laughs> I fired you. You did. I got another <laughs> job. Yours. <laughs> nice. What makes you think you can decide who's running Wayne Enterprises? Well, the fact that I'm the owner. Company went public a week ago, and I bought most of the shares. Look, it's all a bit technical, <laughs> but the important thing is that my company's future is secure. Didn't you get the memo? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, look, he's covering that thing up. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, no, Rachel. No, not Bruce. I said terrible things. But true things. Well, there you go. The superhero gets the girl. I know for once. Yeah, for real, right? At least you don't have to make a time machine or something. <laughs> then I found out about your mask. Oh. This is your mask. The man I loved. He never came back at all. Gotham no longer needs Batman. We'll see him again. What a tease. <laughs> she just kissed him basically just to break up with him. Father would be very proud of you. Just like me. Oh, oh man, the stethoscope. Mm hmm. It's like symbolic for the past. Everything's burnt. Just the way it was. Sir. This might be a good opportunity for. They need to fix that bat cave. Mm -hmm. Southeast corner. Oh, I love that. Man's about to have a uh, a facility, a stainless steel elevator instead of that dang mine cart he's got. This guy, armed robbery, double homicide, taste for the theatrical, like you, leaves a calling card. Mm. Oh snap! This is like the end screen. I never said thank you, and you'll never have to. Partners. He's like, I know the cool kids. I was once the lame cop. 
But now I'm the cool cop. All right, guys. So that was Batman. Uh, Batman Begins. Babe, what did you think about that movie? It was just a blast. Like the whole time, it was intriguing. Christopher Nolan did a good job with the filming of it. It was just like so dark, so. You know, it was actually the darkest like origin story we've seen so far in any like superhero. It was like very different. Did it have a darker feel than Marvel? Yes. It did. There was not a lot of humor in this. Well, Marvel has a way of undercutting all the serious moments with humor. I've said that before. They're more like family friendly. Right. This one right. could be family friendly, this particular one, but if it goes any more like gruesome with the deaths, I don't really agree to that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. I definitely think this one had a darker feel than Marvel, for sure. Um, when you just take, like, the storyline, though, and you just, like, say the storyline out loud, it's just darker in general. Well, this one was yeah. just really well put together. I, you know, a lot of people, obviously, in the culture have a huge obsession with Batman. Totally get it. So, I think the most fundamental thing about this movie was... It really raised the question, right? If Bruce would have grew up with no adversity, if everything would have just been perfect in his life, he wouldn't have become Batman. Right. So the ultimate question is, would you be willing to have your parents killed to become Batman? You know, everybody wants to be great, but nobody really wants to suffer and put in the or work. Or sacrifice. For exactly. It, yeah. So really interesting on that front. I thought it was very interesting at the very end of the movie. Um, the statement was made that basically the harder we try to fight against corruption and the more we like raise the bar the more they they're just going to raise the yeah. bar and so it's one of those things like are we going to do this are we really going to basically wage war against organized crime in our city because if we're going to do that do we really have the stomach to see what mm -hmm. that's going to look like so it's just going to become worse if we're, yeah yeah that was very interesting and I just thought it was great, man. I like how Batman just decided that he was going to use a completely different style to try to continue the work of his parents. They were basically like philanthropists in a way. Mm -hmm. And they were people who, you know, even though we didn't really realize it at first, as the movie went on, we realized they were people who understood about the corruption and they were people right. who were like organized against it. And they didn't just do things to enrich themselves. They were actually trying to fight against like they almost went bankrupt trying to like figure things out essentially like trying to fight their governing yeah. body yeah because yeah. it was so corrupt and just messed up from head to toe so that so was crazy dude. Was, i really like that it was cool to see him like live out like their like even though at first he kind of was like you know lost and then when he overcame all his fears he kind of still lived out like their legacy in his own way which i i felt i thought was kind of cool and i guess like in comparison to like other superhero movies i saw i kind of went into this thinking like He's going to like somehow like interact with a bat, get bat powers. But that isn't at all how it turned out, which and to me was actually really cool. Which that's kind of like how Marvel does. And I'm not saying anything's wrong with that. I do. I like the aspects of that. And kind of like how Spider-Man got bit by Spider-Man. Yeah, like Batman got I, bit by I bat. thought because he's like called a bat and all that, he would somehow have <laughs> like an interaction with a bat. So right. Like, maybe he would eat one or something. I don't know. The bat was symbolic i think <laughs> yeah it was uh, symbolic because it was his sure. fear he wants everyone to fear what he fears right and also all his stuff's in a cave which is like brilliant in itself that's a that's a good idea there's a lot of comparisons you can make about like bats and that there's like a there's definitely a lot of parallels i could draw between that but i think the most important thing like i said was bruce wayne is just someone who basically he his family has an empire essentially i mean they have a lot of money and he is someone who essentially wants to do the right thing, yeah. has a good cost, but he's also backed by a lot of money. So mm -hmm. unlike Spider-Man who can shoot webs from his hands. And has to like, or, or in some you know, universes like, has to take pictures for money. and Right. Well, yeah. they're superhumans, you know, yeah. like uh, Spider-Man can lift like a thousand times and he pulls his punches so he doesn't kill people and all this stuff. Batman, on the other hand, you hit him, he bleeds. Yeah. You punch him, he bruises. And he has and to sleep till 3 p.m. the next day to get rid of like all the fighting he just went through. He's a human. His his superpower is going to come down to, well, his wealth, his status. I think it's like right here. I think it's right here. And his relationships. Because yeah. you, in this movie, you could tell he really needed help. Yeah, he did. He needed his butler. He, did. he needed the relationship with of the Fox, Morgan Lucius Freeman. Fox. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, and you also saw a lot of moments where he was very arrogant and full of himself. Mm -hmm. And that's going to have to tone back. And it seems like whenever he's hanging out with his butler and whenever... He's in just in one of those compromised positions when he's in a fight or something. He doesn't really carry that persona right. anymore. He was just the I, most I really like human him like not. he was just like the most human like superhero we've seen so far because he's essentially a human. He yeah. has no superpowers. Yeah, in that sense. Yeah, he and he used like all the people around him, all the resources to help him out. And that like is like different from a lot of them because 
in Marvel, we have Tony Stark who can build us this and that. Yeah. Yeah. And he like had to really like find those people. So it, it was just a different approach. The main antagonist was basically just a stand in because you could basically rewrite that any type of way you wanted to in terms of the corruption and the main bad mm-hmm. guy and all that stuff. I think the moral of the story is there's just a very, very organized swamp that's taken over Gotham City, man. And right. Everyone down to the DA. And, you know, there's so many parallels like that in real life. I don't know. You know, so many DAs in real life are bought off and they're paid for. And it's just it's just like a like a really good representation. It's like. It really goes to show you how bad it could be in like a yeah. dystopian universe for real. Because at the end of the day, what the movie really didn't fail to miss was most people are motivated by money. And if you get mm-hmm. a lot of blackmail on people and if you can really compromise people, then society can look like a lot of things. I said yeah. it in the beginning, they made it look dystopian, but there's places in America that look worse right. than what we saw. There so are. and I'm sure at the time when this movie came out, they were really trying to stretch the imagination. Mm-hmm. So I really like the whole Gotham City vibe. Like, I like that. I like it. I like that it's, like, just kind of a place that's kind of, like, you know, I don't want to say doomed, but it kind of, like, you know, there's a lot of, like, corruption. There's a lot of, like, different aspects of corruption. Like I like how you can't trust anyone. Right, right. How every conversation between an attorney and a lawyer. You just never know. You never know who's corrupt and what. There's basically, like, in this world, there's no attorney. uh, There's no attorney. Uh, client privilege at right. all like that type of stuff doesn't exist there's no discretion see um it just looks like a stressful wild, place dude. to be at Crazy. like you're just like constantly every day fighting for your life it feels like absolutely so like yeah because even his parents they left a little early from that concert wrong place at the wrong time i was, was thinking in like, the movie in the end i thought the main twist was going to be that the gunman was hired to assassinate right them because i, thought, they were I was to thinking so city. I was thinking so, so too. So I jumped the gun on that, but then it turned out that it was just the twist was it was it was the guy Liam Neeson was the Roz guy. That was the twist, right? So yeah, like yeah. that guy lived, and he like ended up carrying out the he was getting the vaporizer to yeah. Because basically, I think they have like some like I told you because the the main guy he was like saying that it's like a kind of a prophecy or something that Gotham said he's going to be destroyed. Because he said for generations and years they've been talking about well, it. Yeah, and he's been saying that every failing civilization you've ever read about, they essentially, like, off the books were responsible for facilitating the collapse. Right. And it sounds like the Wayne. They're playing God. They're the basically, good ones. yeah. They're basically saying, you know, they're basically saying, like, we have omnence. We can see the outcome of events. So mm-hmm. they're basically saying, you know, we're going to take the high ground and we're going to. Do what we need to do to advance humanity by making certain things collapse so they can get out the way or yeah. some, something like, like they that. Like they said, they d- they did Rome. They destroyed Rome. Exactly. Yeah. By but, stirring the pot up. Yeah. But like I was saying, all that stuff is neither here nor there. I mean, it's important because it's the movie, but I think the overall... It's interesting. It makes the plot line interesting. I don't know how much that's going to affect The Dark Knight because the oh. next movie is going to be The Joker. Okay. So, guys, like I said in the beginning, man, and you guys might have fast forwarded it. If you did, chances are you're not listening to me now, but... Uh, I have seen The Dark Knight. I've seen this movie. Um, I didn't really appreciate the movie like a lot of people did. Man, I was young when it came out. I really was. And I don't really know anything about it. I don't know the plot line. But obviously, I want to see it significantly more now that I've watched this movie. And, babe, this movie coming up. uh, I guess I'm going to have to judge it for myself. But not only is it like a good movie... People say it's one of like it's it's like a top 10 movie all time. So like even if you take the superhero like you don't say it's a top 10 superhero movie. It's just a top 10 movie. Like a top 10 all time. Uh, cool. Like 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 it won so many awards apparently. Uh, I, mean, I definitely I don't, heard I'm it. Assuming. I definitely heard it. But like I never watched. Like when I heard Batman. I feel like my whole life I've seen Batman like multiple movies. I think I even seen one on TV before with a Catwoman in it. And you know, I just never watched the first one to keep going. Well, you know, the Joker with the face, the why so serious, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like a cultural phenomenon. Yeah. I mean, people have that on their T-shirts, their screensavers. Yeah. Um, I know, I, I know you've never seen it. Like I said, I've seen it. And I, I just want to watch it with an adult perspective and actually mm-hmm. pay attention to the story and see if I can break it down. Because I just kind of feel like it's going to be really good. Because And in, t- in terms no of... No offense the de- to this movie. Oh, sorry. sorry to interrupt you, sweetie. Yeah. No offense to this movie, but I've never really heard of anyone just loving this movie. And I thought this movie was awesome. Yeah, it so was great. I, I think the next one's going to be really like... Right. You know. But uh, back to what I was saying. In terms of the DCU or DC Universe... I really don't know how this ties in, but since this is a 2005, I feel like Batman's the head of the DC stuff. 
I'd, I'd imagine so. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe like maybe you don't start here, but maybe this you sounds start terrible. Here. But I don't know anyone from the DC universe. I, I know the Flash. Batman, I know the Fast Guy because like Superman. Oh, he's in it. He's DC, right? Oh, Wonder Woman is. Yeah, Wonder Woman. Yeah. The Flash. And Cal Drogo. Cal Drogo. Uh, Aquaman. Aquaman. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Barnacle, Barnacle Boy. <laughs> yeah, man. Anyway, so we got a whole journey. We really need to get into the DC universe, guys. Uh, I know there's a lot of movies. I don't know if we're watching these in the best possible order, but you let us know in the comment section if there's a movie that you think that we it need to get into. It just won our Patreon poll. And I think our patrons wouldn't make us watch something out of order, you know? They well, would tell they wouldn't vote for that. They would definitely tell us. They, we watched the Marvel franchise in order. We did everything perfectly. Uh we crossed our T's and dotted our I's 100 percent in that. And we definitely want to give DC the same respect and just watch it in the best possible order. So if you're a big DC fan and you're, you know, you know, if you know all that stuff, just please let me know in the comment section and we'll try our best to not mess up the order. So Thank you guys for rocking with us. That was Cannot actually a wait for a the lot next of fun. two, honestly. Yeah, the next one. Like, I am be... so excited. I could watch it right now if possible. All right, guys. Thank you so much for rocking with us. Like, comment, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon for the full length uncut reactions. We'll see you on the next one.